Welcome to my channel. So I've been living in this home since December. I bought it back in November. It is now July. <laughs> and in all this time that I've been in my space, I literally haven't purchased not one piece of furniture. And it's not because like I didn't want to, it's mainly because I've just felt so guilty about spending so much money, even though this is my space and it needs to be done. Um, I've just felt so guilty about buying things for myself for a long time. And I don't know if it's just me that feels this way about spending large amounts of money. Um, but I always just feel so bad. Like I can't justify what I've purchased. Like I'm so cheap to myself. It's terrible. I finally started on... Um, redecorating my spaces and I'm really excited because now that I've actually started to purchase some things I'm really really excited about changing up the space changing the vibe decorating it the way that I want it to and I wasn't gonna vlog this to be honest like I, I wasn't sure if I should but I had a lot of people telling me Rhea I would really really like to see how uh, you you do up your space. I'm very very neutral. I'm not at all a maximalist. I'm very scared of colors um, and I like my spaces to just be really clean and efficient if that makes any sense. Like I just want everything that's in my space to have a purpose. So Again, I've started purchasing some things for my space. I just got a notification on my phone from Amazon that something that I ordered is on the way. So I thought that I would basically just start vlogging um, the transformation of my living room. And um, I'll show you guys how it turns out. So let me show you what the space looks like right now before we get started. So this is what my living room space looks like right now. Please ignore the mess. There's just so much stuff that I've unpacked and I don't really have anywhere to put things right now. Like right here, all this stuff was just like, there are curtains that need to go up, but I have no curtain rod. And then over here, there's a bunch of stuff that need to be hung up and some stuff from my trips that I have nowhere to put yet. And yeah, everything just needs its own space. Over here, this is really where I want my office space to be. So I already have my computer desk. I would really like to put like a bulletin board on the wall, some shelves maybe. Um, I ordered a new computer. So that's gonna go on the shelf here. I mean, on the desk here. Um, and then this record player I have with a couple of records here. Um, I actually ordered like a media cabinet that all this stuff is going to go into. So it's not going to stay here. So again, like everything that's just sitting around my house right now is just stuff that doesn't have a place yet because I don't have the furniture piece for it yet. I think I'm going to keep how this looks. Like I have this full length mirror in the corner of the room and I really love it. But in this corner, this empty space is where that media cabinet is gonna go. And then beside the uh, lamp there, I'm getting a sofa, which should come in later this week. And I'm very excited about that. My TV is on this side. I have a little coffee table. Um, this sofa I've always had and I, I bought two chairs. So besides the armchair that's going to go in the corner, I bought a really nice colored um, office chair that's going to go here. So this area is basically like the front door and walkway area. I want to do some stuff here as well because once you walk in, the first thing you see is the living room space from here. Over my display cabinet, I would really like a nice big mirror. This little chair is actually one that was left here by the people who lived in the home before me. They let me keep it. They let me keep all of these bar stools as well. and. I mean, it matches the space, so I'm going to stick to it. On this wall here, I just purchased um, like a stand to hold my keys. It's a hook for all my keys. And there's also a little shelf 
and a space for mail that comes in. And also, I'm thinking about painting this side of the door because um, where I live, they don't allow for you to paint outside, but on the inside, I'm pretty sure I can paint this side of the door. There's like these streaks of paint along the door that just look really messy and gross. So I was thinking about painting the door maybe like a green color, like a minty green or a sage color. Um, I think it's gonna look really nice. So those are the ideas that I have for this space. And as I was talking, one of my packages just came in. This is the hook for the keys for the front door. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that up right now. I stole my dad's um, drill. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and drill that up now. And this is gonna be officially day one of living room decor, uh, living room rearranging, living room decorating, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> another hole in the wall so I'm gonna put this peg inside and then put the screw through and then we can finally hang it our redecoration and da -da -da -da. <laughs> I just got home from work and I came home to all these goodies at the front door I'm so excited so this is the um, new chair for our computer desk our new armchair and that one in the back if you can see it is the media table I'm so excited <laughs> only downside to this is the fact that I have to build everything by myself. <laughs> um, I saw that the chairs are relatively easy to put together, so I'm going to start with those first. But I heard from the reviews online that the media cabinet gave people a really hard time and there were even some people who were saying that their husbands and boyfriends helped them to put it together and guess what yeah I don't have any of that so <laughs> so I'm gonna get to work on those chairs first and then after the chairs I'm gonna move on to the media cabinet so let's do it I'm so excited I'm so glad it came it wasn't supposed to come so soon This is what's gonna look like. It's starting to get a little dark, so I had to turn on the light. 
But oh my gosh, guys, look at this color. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. This color is perfect. Oh, it's exactly what I wanted. So the only thing I have to do here is screw on the legs to the bottom, which are all in this box. And then that's it, we're done. so exhausted and we still have the big one now the media cabinet oh my gosh please <laughs> let's do this let's get it done we're practically at the finish line at this point very excited let's do this all right let's get up let's do it <laughs> I'm actually going to save some of the styrofoam that's in this box to put into some potted plants just in case I want to make them higher um, in the vases that I might put them into. It's good to hang on to just a couple of these kinds of like thick styrofoam pieces. This is literally the perfect color. It's the same color as my coffee table. So I chose well. Yes. Okay, so here's what we have to work with after I unpacked the entire box so many pieces <laughs> it's kind of intimidating i've built cabinet pieces before like my display in the back and one for my tv stand but i've never built a cabinet with that many pieces before i'm gonna do the majority of the build off camera and then i'll come back when it's finished let you guys know how long it took me and my final thoughts um, I just want to make sure that I get through this correctly and get through all my instructions like without errors because that's the last thing I want. <laughs> Three hours later. Okay, so it's minutes to midnight. I made a huge mistake while I was building this and because of that, just as I was going to put the doors on this, I had to loosen basically the entire cabinet and retighten it all again. Not even going to get into it. <laughs> The media cabinet is officially done. My record player's inside. Records are on the bottom. Did it. Thank God. There's a huge mess behind me that I'm not gonna show and I'm not gonna clean that until tomorrow. Those are before of the front door. I am about to go ahead and start the painting process. This is the color right here, isn't it so good? <laughs> I'm excited to try it. sample size of the paint because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it or not so I'll have to get another little sample size can the sample size was enough to do the entire door so one more sample size can should do the trick and I'll just finish off this project off camera so you'll see it again in the end Film the entire process of me putting up this curtain rod but I don't even know what day we're on anymore but ta-da We've got curtains in the living room. <laughs> Blinds came today and I'm now putting them up. I already put up one of them and replaced that ugly blue one that the people who lived here before me had. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install the other two as well. And then I'm gonna call it a night.
bulletin board that I just put up. I got it from Target. It didn't come in gold. I painted it gold because I wanted it to match the little accents in the living room. And I was thinking of putting up some photos and stuff from my trips and just pinning them on. So I'm gonna get started and do that now. I have like pamphlets from when I went to London. I have little postcards from Japan. I have so much stuff that I wasn't really sure where to put it. I'd like to just put them up so people can look at it and so I can see it too and remember my trips. I also have some little cute art and Polaroids too that I'm probably gonna put up as well. So let me just get started. I'm gonna pin these things up now. from me and my little sister my dad at a pride parade he actually came to the pride parade there he is and he was pulling this massive float during the whole parade <laughs> this is how it's looking i think it looks really cute when i find some more little tidbits and snippets of things to put up i'll do that but i love like how it makes the space look. It looks a little bit more like an office space. <laughs> and like, it has so much stuff that I really like. And so it would be nice to look at it while I'm on the computer doing things. 